हेलो एंड गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव फिनिश्ड ऑल द टॉपिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री अबाउट टेबुलर प्रेजेंटेशन एंड दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज अबाउट सॉल्व एक्सरसाइजेस ऑफ द चैप्टर थ्री राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ट्रू एंड फॉल्स एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एम एंड सम क्वेश्चन आंसर्स राइट so let's move ahead and solve them dash key is used to move the cursor to the adjoining cell of a table so which key is used that is tab key right the table button is present on dash tab by now you must be finding it easy so it's a insert tab where the table button is present you can resize the width of the column by selecting dash button in the tables group right so it is a properties button properties button also gives us option to uh, resize the column width so next is dash option adjust the table according to the margins set on a window right window means on your page so it is auto fit window next is while changing the column width the pointer changes into your pointer's looks changes and it looks like double headed arrow right dash are quick and easy way to insert pre designed table in a document so when it when we talk about pre designed and easy and quick way so they they are always quick tables right so next is state true or false so these are the five statements now let's read it and find whether they are true or false now the first one is clicking on the table move handle will select the entire table so when we click on the table move handle does it select the table yes it does you can insert columns only to the left side of the selected column no we can select on the both sides so it is false auto fit content option adjust the column width according to the data entered yes when we talk about auto fit content so it depends upon the data entered so it is true cell cannot be merged in a table it is wrong we can merge the cells so it is false pressing shift and tab key move to the next cell wrong how we, how we can say that because tab key takes us to the next cell and shift plus tab key brings our cursor to the previous cell so it is false right so let's move ahead now let's see can we think of the solution of the problems so it is application based question teacher has asked rohan to enter his test marks in table she asked him to calculate his total marks using formula so which function should he use to find the total marks so that was the last topic we have learnt it was it was sum because we have to find the total so total will always be done by sum and when by default when we uh, click the formula button we always get sum function ishita has designed her weekly study schedule in a tabular format she wants to enlarge the size of her table so just her a quick way to re resize the table so what is a easy way easiest way is to auto fit content why because once you have selected this option how as much is your data that much width of the uh, column will be there now we have reached to mcqs the first one is the intersection of rows and column is called border table or cell so when the rows and column intersects what do we see we see is cells right table group is present on dash tab layout insert or home so you always insert a table so you find the table group on insert tab right now which key combination moves the cursor to the previous cell previous cell so tab plus all shift plus tab or none so it is shift plus tab right 
which function key is used to update the result in a cell so after that was the absolutely last topic we have done so f5 f7 f9 yes f9 right next is when you select a table the design tab appears under dash tools if you remember we always get two tabs under one tab that is design tab and layout tab so we find design and layout tab under grid table or draw so that we get under table tools right so i hope you are clear with these mcqs now let's do some of the question answers explain the term table a table is an organized arrangement of data which consists of number of rows and columns and let's uh, learn about cell also the cell the intersection of rows and column is called cell right now state the difference we have what is the difference between table move handle and table resize handle now the name is telling the difference table move handle and table resize handle so the table move handle is used to move the entire table and table resize handle is used for resizing the entire table right next difference is what is the difference between split cells and merge cells so splitting means dividing the selected cell into two separate cells right and merging merging means combining two or more cells into a single cell is called merging right next is how will you calculate the sum in a table right so after you have entered your marks you want to get the total of uh, those marks so what are the steps after you have entered the data select the layout tab click in the cell where the result is to be displayed right well then we will go in the data group and we will click on the formula button the moment we click on the formula button we will get to see a formula dialog box and in the formula dialog box we will get some formula which is already being displayed right we just need to click okay and the result appears on the selected cell right now next is what do you understand by term formatting so formatting of a table controls the overall appearance of a table right so we learned so many small sub topics under formatting like uh, resizing designing so, so many things were there for formatting right next is write the steps to insert a column in a table right so if we want to insert a, uh, or add a new column so what are the steps select the column adjacent to which you want to insert the new column right so it would be right side or left side right wherever you want to insert you can choose the option but before that you need to select the column around which you want to insert the new column right so table tools will appear when table tool will tools will appear you will click the layout tab select insert left or insert right button wherever you want to insert the new column in the row and column group right and empty column gets inserted which option you will choose if you choose the insert left so left side a column will be inserted if you choose right so right side a column will be inserted right so students i hope you could answer all of all or most of the questions and now prepare the notes and and get ready for the exams do well and uh, see you with a new chapter tomorrow till then take care and goodbye